Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my sixth video tutorial on the CV King technique. And today I'm going to show you uh, one of the most important exercises uh, that CV King wrote. Uh, and it comes before the wrist exercises and the double thirds and the stretch exercises. But it's independent fingers and it's like a trill and it develops the hand, it develops the, the, the one, two, three, the two, three, four, and the three, four, five sets so that the hand becomes strong. Now, there's one exercise that precedes that that helps with developing this. So it's basically uh, one octave up from middle C, and it's to hold the, the D and work the one and three, C, E. And you hold the E and you work the F. Hold the G and work G, the F at least, and work G, E. Hold the E and work F, D. And that's done also an octave lower, two octaves lower for the left hand. Now, uh, this next exercise is in one octave up from middle C, <coughs> and we're going to work the one, two, three group, 16 notes in each direction. <coughs> Excuse me, we're holding the C, and we're going to work trill the D and the E. So one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's four groups of four sixteenths. Now, we hold the E and we work one, two, three, four. Second group, third group. The fourth group is C, D, C, E. Now we put our thumb on D, D and we start the D, E, F group. Hold the F and come back for 16 notes. Have to have that skip there on the fourth note of the uh, fourth group because we have to be able to put the thumb on E to start our EFGF group. At this point, you can pick up the tempo a bit. Then you can go quicker. down so it's 16 notes C B A B second group third group fourth group now you got to go back one two three four so it's got to have that C A in there three one to bring your third finger over B to start the B A G A group last set in that direction is one, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, there you go, three, two, one, two, sorry, three, two, one, three, and end on two, so. And the whole arm 
is so relaxed, it's just like the wrecking ball. It's each that you're using that weight that you release on the way up, it decelerates, stops, meditates, and then sudden release accelerates down for each key. But the hand is stable and steady with the limpid, movable wrist, doorknob freedom in the wrist, and then you're in the keys with your full weight of the arm balanced on the pad of the finger. And uh, so then we'll take the two, three, four group, and very same. So it's Coming down, C, B, A, B. start the three four five group and so on so that's up and down so normally once you get going and it's in your hands you start with the hard group then you do the medium group then you do the middle group and then you do the three two one because it's just makes the hand feel better uh, then the left hand, of course, is the very same, only two octaves down, so one octave below middle C. And so on. The other thing I wanted to show tonight, uh, again, is the importance of that exercise that allows you to learn your major scales. Because a, whole t a major scale is whole tone, because it misses one hammer, whole tone, misses a hammer, half tone, because it's side by side, whole tone, whole tone, whole tone, half tone. So every major scale is like that. So if you do C majors, tone, tone, half tone, 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 half tone. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So if you go, If you do the accent on the second note, do that on uh, go up chromatically, so go up semitone to, to D flat or C sharp, and do the same thing. the pad of the finger as the weight comes in on it and balance it there feel you're balanced in the keys with your arm the whole relaxed weight of that arm and it'll help you a lot now remember for a minor scale to come down three semitones one two three so a minor is going to be like c major zero sharp zero flats the harmonic minor besides having all these white keys is going to raise the seventh note both at both up and down the scale so it'll be a g sharp accidental so 
So when you get here, it's not that, it's, it's got to have that raised. So practice that in the same hand, in the left hand. Then you can do it on your second and third fingers. So. finger, fourth finger, that's hard, so then you do it again only slower. And then go even slower till you've got absolute perfect note accuracy. Anyway, I hope you understand what I was saying in all of this and that it helps your technique. Have a good evening. Thanks. Bye-bye.